hello everyone welcome to the channel you guys know that i really like olama it is one of the go-to tool for running large language models in quantized format on your local system i always suggest to the people who are just starting out in ai to use olama because it makes it so easy and simple to run these models locally on either cpu or commodity hardware the reason why Olama works is that it works on GGUF format or the quantized format, which is uh, you can see the watered down version of the large language models in a very uh, little precision of the representation of that model that makes it easy and compatible to run it on your commodity hardware. So instead of running the model in full precision, which is floating point 32 or half precision, which is floating point 16, we run it in something like 4-bit or 8-bit or in some cases even lower in the ternary one with the help of these toolings. And Olama is one such tool which makes it so easy. Recently, Olama or maybe just few hours ago, basically, Olama has done a really great and huge change, which in my opinion, quite big is that not only you can uh, run the models by just picking them up from this model registry from Olama's website, but also you can directly now run them from Hugging Face repo, which is hosted on their website. And that is what I'm going to show you. So now one of the problems people face is that, for example, they go to this library of Olama and the model they are trying to run is not available here. So what do they do? Either they just convert it to GGUF, upload it to Olama's registry here, and then they use it. Or now it you can you don't have to worry about it. All you need to do is to just use this, for example, GGUF format from for Lama 3.21 billion directly from Hugging Face repo. So which in other words mean that we really don't need this Olama registry and that might also relieve the burden on Olama. They don't have to host all of this stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that quite easily locally with the help of Olama. Before I do that, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so let me take you to my terminal here where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen and first up, either you have to install Olama or upgrade it. So I already have it installed. As you can see, I don't have any model at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I am going to upgrade it. In order to upgrade it, you would have to go back to Olama's website, go to their main page, click on download. And then if you're on Windows, just download that or for Mac OS, but I'm on Linux. So I'm just going to grab this command again. And then I'm just going to go to my terminal and then paste this command here and run it here. So it is just going to install the latest version of Olama. Let's wait for it. So the installation and upgrade in a sense is same that you have to run the same command. So let's wait for it to finish downloading this and then we will proceed further. Almost there. And Olama is installed as you can see here. Next up we need to set some links and permission. So first up, we need to copy this Olama's new binary to this bin directory. And then we need to reload the daemon, which is a system daemon in Linux. You don't have to do these things in Windows. And then let's stop and start the Olama service with the system CTL. And that is done. And now if you check the Olama's version, that should reflect the latest version for you. Let's wait for it to come. First time this takes a bit of a time. And there you go. So this is the latest version I'm running. Make sure that you're also on this version. So Olama is all done and cool. And now here is how you run the model directly from Hugging Face repo in quantized format. First up, the command is 
and you can see that I don't have any model. So I'm running olama run hf dot go. This will be the same slash. Then go to Hugging Face website. Click here to copy the repo's name of your quantized version and paste it here. Now, if you just want to run any latest version, just do latest here and press enter. You see, it is downloading the model and it will run it automatically. If you just want to download it, replace run with pull here. And that is all you needed to do. So let's wait for it. It is downloading. It is going to verify the checksum and it is going to do all of it. What it does, just like we do it from the Olama's website. And behind the scene, um, okay, I will tell you behind the scene shortly. Let me maybe just say hello here so that we know it's working. It is. And let's, sorry, slash buy. And that is done. Now we all know that when we use a quantized version, there are multiple quantized versions. So what I mean is, for example, when you go to these models in Olama's repo, go to Lama 3.2, and then once you click on this <clears throat> drop down you see there are a lot of quants here so when i select this quant it just changes this command with the so basically it changes the tag here towards the end how do we do that in hugging face so if you go to hugging face go to files you will see there are a lot of quants here so instead of it's, it will be the same here so if you go for example you go want to go with q8 so if you scroll down there should be a q8 here yeah, so, if, so for example, you want to go with Q8. So it is Q8 underscore zero, right? Go back to terminal and then run this command. Same command, but instead of latest towards the end, I have just given it Q8 underscore zero. And it is downloading the Q8 now. That is all you needed to do. And behind the scene, it is still using um, the same sort of storage. So we are specifying the GGUF file from Hugging Face. And Olama is downloading the model file and renaming it to a hash string, as you can see here. And then uh, you can, and then Olama uses that file name extensively. So it's literally the GGUF file, but Olama just renames it, which is, I think, not a good idea because we can't use that file with anything else. We have to rename it in order to use it. But that is, I just digress. So that is done. Now, if you do olama list you will see that now we have two gguf files here now if you look if you really think about it right now at hugging face we have more than forty-five thousand models in quantized format you can run any one of them with these commands any model you don't have to worry about whether that is present in this model directory or, or registry at olama you just go to hugging face grab it and run it this is insane, really huge and big. And also I wanted to introduce you to the sponsors of this video who are Agent QL. Agent QL is a query language that turns any web page into a data source with its Python SDK and live debugging tool. You can scrape and interact with web content. Agent QL works on any page. It is resilient, it is reusable, and it structures the output according to the shape of your query. It is robust alternative to fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.